I've been living here in Roatan for almost 20 years now and I came first from uh, Belize to investigate to see uh, what the island was all about. My initial motivation was brought about as a result of the government saying in 1990 that they were going to change the foreign investment uh, opportunities by making land available to foreigners for purchase. And being in the real estate and development business in Belize, I saw it as an opportunity to, to perhaps start over here. I'd heard about Roatan and that it was a beautiful island. And uh, so I came over to, to check just prior to the law actually being implemented. Um, obviously, I fell in with love with the island right away. It's a, it's a gorgeous island, tropical in every way, beautiful beaches. And I instantly saw an opportunity to uh, do similar projects to what I was doing in Belize, perhaps on a larger scale here. Well, kind of tour by meetings and uh, interaction with other people in the same business, same industry that I'm in, it gives us an opportunity to, for an exchange of ideas. That's probably the most important thing. And also to support each other in efforts to improve uh, situations, be it uh, legal, political, or, or uh, promotional. So there's, there's a variety of ways that Conatour helps, but the, uh, the association with other members and, and the exchange of ideas is probably the most important. Honduras and Roatan in particular, Roatan in particular are uh, underdeveloped. There is plenty of land for development. There are a number of uh, beautiful sites where hotels can be built. Uh, I think Roatan is, is destined to be one of the finer tourism destinations perhaps in, the, in this area, in, in uh, uh, Central America and Western Caribbean. It's, uh, it's a beautiful spot, plenty of opportunity. I've found uh, a bipartisan um, attitude towards investment that's very positive ever since the first day I came here. So I think we have a lot of opportunity and a great future. Well, I think that uh, Conatour needs to focus uh, its efforts, and we've talked about this in local meetings, uh, on the Houston market and do target marketing, because uh, which a number of the uh, hotels and developers are willing to, to uh, co-venture the expense of doing that. And the reason for it being that we have the most direct flights in season, at least five direct flights to Roatan from uh, Houston. And that's a great market. And Texas is a big state with a lot of people. They're, uh, they're adventurous types. They go to the Caribbean and uh, they, uh, they like what we have when they see it. So I think it's, it's easier when you have the airlift to promote a destination where that airlift comes from. So I've been preaching this for some time and I think that if we can get uh, on a national level the government and Conatour and uh, the islanders all focusing on that particular market, we can speed up the process of getting more people in, building more rooms and have even more uh, air airlift. That's really important to us. I don't think I need to say how old I am. <laughs> Especializamos en mariscos, pescado, camarón, langosta, ceviche, todo lo que le gustan a los isleños y pues claro también los turistas que quieren probar un poco de comida típica. Sí, pues no, yo vine a caer a con un aspecto de, de vivir acá tranquilo sin, sin estar preocupándome por nada, ¿no? pero ahí encontré la mordibilidad que me imagina que la iba a encontrar acá. Así típico y tranquilo, si la gente quiere venir a quedarse, pues en eh, cabañas.